Hey guys, and welcome back to an update from my live stream of the unboxing of the Razer Black Widow Chroma V2 and the Razer Naga Chroma. So I've had these things for about three months, uh, using them every day uh, for all of my content creation, all of my YouTubing, everything I do has been with this mouse and this keyboard. And after three months of use, I've come to the conclusion that I really like it. I think it's a, a well-built product. It's very responsive. Um, the only thing I'm not a big fan of is the volume of noise that the keyboard makes. Um, the click is understandable because they're mechanical keys. However, the clack from when the keys bottom out, um, I'm not really a big fan of. So to kind of solve that problem, I jumped on the internet, did a little bit of searching and came up with this thing, the Enhance Mod Kit from a company called Enhance. Um, like 13 bucks on Amazon plus shipping, and you get this. Uh, there'll be a link down in the video description if you wanna check it out or get one for yourself. You can upgrade your, um, your keyboard. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, tear into this and see what all comes in the box. All right, so we've got this uh, this package right here. Um, it's pretty uh, pretty simple. You know, it's something you might see on a store shelf. Not anything too uh, extravagant as far as the uh, the packaging goes. Um, basically, everything that's on the uh, the Amazon page that I see on the page is actually right here on the back. So no real surprises. And then all the reviews that I read about this this product were. Uh, we're very, very good. So first and foremost, it comes with a, a tiny little bag. I guess it's probably just big enough to put a mouse in. Yeah, I mean, that would, yeah, it's a bag. Uh, you know, I mean, it's not, you know, super high quality or anything. It's, you know, it's just a bag. All right, we'll get rid of that. So next up, we've got the contents, and this is really what we are looking for. So there's a small cleaning brush. That's pretty nice. There's a small some kind of microfiber cloth or something. And then we've got 140 of these little rings. We'll take a look at these guys here in a second. And this is the thing that we really wanted to worry about was this keycap puller. So this is gonna make our job a lot easier as we switch out these keycaps. And then we got a whole bunch of paperwork. Choking hazard, user guide. Stop before you go any further, read this stuff. All right, cool. So yeah, we'll just throw all that stuff away. All right, so everything's unpacked. There's 140 of these rings, one keycap puller, and the uh, the little cleaning brush. Um, I don't think we're gonna get too much use out of this. Uh, it's only been about three months with this keyboard, so I don't see a lot of that happening. But I do wanna go ahead and get in here and give this a try. So if we just, uh, I guess let's do L. So how do we get this guy to fit? just like that all right so now it's in there we'll just go ahead and give it a tug and it comes right off so this is actually not bad I mean the uh, kind of the wire cap pullers are usually a little easier so I, I don't know if you can really see this so all I'm doing is just putting it directly on top of the stem here on the very bottom I don't know if you can exactly see that but uh, right there so it's just right there on the edge and then we're just gonna go ahead and put it right back in just like that. All right, so now here's what it sounds like without, and here's what it sounds like with. That's definitely a noticeable improvement. Um, all right, I think we're gonna do a little bit of a before and after. So let me grab something real quick. All right, so just to kind of give you an idea of uh, what it all sounds like, I'm going to do just a quick little typing example. So I've got just a little bit of a word pad here. So we're just going to do a little how now brown cow how now brown cow how now brown cow. So hopefully that gives you kind of a, a feel for how it sounds before. Um, the only one I've switched out thus far is the L. 
Um, I'm going to switch out a couple real quick and uh, see how it all comes together. All right, so I went ahead and did a little before typing test. So I think what I'm going to do is replace the uh, the top, or rather the, the middle section. So um, essentially all the single keys, none of the tab, caps, lock, shift, alt. I'll uh, probably do, uh, you know, we'll play it by ear. But at this point, I feel like uh, definitely the number key, the entirety of the second row, we can probably do tab. I don't think that has like the, uh, the stabilizer, or the retaining clip or any of that stuff. Um, but the space bar, probably the shift button, we're going to want to hold off on until a little bit later. So I thought what I might do is try to do a time lapse of me doing the entire thing all in one go. Um, we'll see how that works out. I don't really know if it's going to. Um, I may go ahead and cut away. I may do a second angle. I may do a third angle. So uh, hopefully this doesn't take long, but let's get started. Right, so we got all the keycaps replaced. We've put all the things in. Um, I went ahead and did the, uh, the space bar without you because it was kind of tedious and, and yeah, it took a little bit of time. So now that it's all replaced, let's do our before and after comparison. Um, so I'm just gonna grab a notepad real quick and we'll just do our how now brown cow how now brown cow and yeah i think it sounds a million times better the the most of the the 
clicking, the clank, the, the bottoming out has been uh, resolved and there's some sticky keys. But uh, yeah, it's made a huge improvement. Um, for 12 bucks and about an hour's worth of work, it's definitely worth it. So I strongly suggest that you, if you have a chance, if you have a mechanical keyboard, if you wanna make your gaming experience that much better, go ahead and invest the time and money and upgrade your keyboard. But guys, that's gonna do it for this unboxing. I do wanna thank you much for watching. I'm gonna leave you with something special. Um, so thanks a bunch, have a great day. See you next time.